Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Hunter. Today, I'm going to show you how you can fix the shadows in your YouTube project. In this project, I'm using the one from my last video where I showed you guys how to use the third person character controller from the stern assets. And if you guys want to watch that, I'm going to leave a link in the description and you can check it out. We're using the URP 2021.3.10 F1. And yeah, that's the build we're using. If we take a look, a closer look here at our shadow, you're going to notice that it's, it has a lot of jagged edges, dots and lines and stuff. Obviously, you don't want that in your game. What you would do, you would go to your settings and then you would go to whatever one you prefer here. If you have multiple um, graphics settings, you would go to the multiple, like all of them. And here I'm going to just do the high fidelity one. And when you go here, you want to make sure that the uh, shadow resolution is set to 4K as well as the shadow atlas and the cookie atlas. Now, when you get in the bottom, you want to enable the soft channels because obviously the ones that jagged edges and it looks better. Now, what you would do, set the normal bias to zero and then set the depth bias to one. In my opinion, that looks way better. And one thing that I noticed in Unity or at least in the project I used with URP is there is uh, something between the max distance and the shadow quality. The lower you set it, the higher quality the shadow gets. Like if I set it something like 10 or 8, look at how good it gets. It looks good, but obviously you can't play in <laughs> when it's like that. The shadow's gonna disappear right away. So, and the higher you set it, obviously it becomes really smooth and ugly and stuff. Uh, I would suggest that you set it on 150 or 100. That's what I usually do it in my projects and stuff. And one trick you guys you can do to hide that fact that you have uh, a short load, uh, shadow distance is that you would add something like fog in the distance, distance like um, with the post processing and volumes and stuff. So yeah, if you guys found that video um, useful in any way, you know, hit the like button. If you want to see more, just subscribe. And thank you for watching.